in this uh, video we'll talk about how to calculate the probability for a particular stock to go up and down um, so this uh, method will just give you the probabilities for example if you're looking uh, if the stock how what's the probability that stock will go more than two percent up tomorrow so you can calculate from here um, so how will I do that I'll first go to Yahoo Finance and uh, I looked for Google and uh, then I clicked on historical prices so when I look click on the historical prices I get the price for each of the day and uh, I'm just uh, using a range of uh, like one year or so so now if I uh, if I go down I can click download to spreadsheet so I can click on this and then I can open this data in the spreadsheet so this is how the spreadsheet looks like and I can zoom that for for you so so this is the data right so I don't need all of the data so I'm going to delete uh, the all the columns here and I'm going to delete this and uh, let me move this here and say one two and then I just uh, did the counting so how many data points I have so I'll just say this is a count and this is the price right so now I need to say percentage change how much price changed so that will be equal to this minus this multiply by 100 divided by previous price and so and I can double click so this is the these are all the changes so now I have all the changes so if I go down I need to uh, because this one is uh, uh, comparing the change uh, with the next data point but there is no da next data point so this is not a valid calculation so I'll just delete this here I'll go up again and now I have all the percentage changes for all the years so for example uh, all the days for so if I have a uh, 0.34 so there was a 0.34% uh, percent change in the stock price um, between uh, today and yesterday right so somehow like that so now what I'll do is uh, I want to align them uh, in the ascending order so or sort them in the ascending order so this is again percentage change uh, but this is a sort right so in this case what I'll sort say is equal to small and then I'll choose this array and it will say small which rank of the small so you, you do you want the smallest or you want the second smallest so I'll say yeah I want the smallest so I'll click on this and I got the smallest here right so I can do the same thing now if I drag it down now you can say it gives me third smallest here so I can keep doing this uh, so now I have all the order so if I go below I can see that uh, it is decreasing and eventually I have uh, 16% uh, increase in one of the days and uh, um, and here I have only uh, I have 5% decrease in one of the days right so now what I'm gonna do is uh, for each change I'm gonna I'm, I'm going to assign the same probability for each change so how many total observations I have so if I go here the total number of observation I have uh, is 408 I have 408 data points so the probability for this to happen so this event will happen one out of 408 times so what is the probability so the probability is 100 and 1 divided by 408 so that's the probability so I can also write it this way count divided by 408 okay so now this is my probability now if I if I want to calculate what's the likelihood that this two can happen then I will have a cumulative probability I, so I say because these are two events so I'll say this the probability for this to happen is 2 divided by 408 and same way if I ask what's the probability that this 9 will happen so then in that case it will be 9 divided by 408 so in the other way uh, by calculating all the 9 together I am saying that what's the probability that the stock will fall more than 3% so you can say oh I have seen that uh, out of 408 time stock has fallen more than 3% on 9 of the days 
so you will say the probability is 9 divided by 408 right so this is how it it works so i can just double click this and then i have all the numbers filled up here and uh, i'm going to delete this so what you will say see here is that what's the probability for the stock to uh, remain less than 16 percent so the prof the the gain will not be more than 16 percent so there is no probability for that so again has to remain less than 16 percent because you haven't seen anything which goes more than 16 percent in last 408 days right so this is how it works so now i have this probability so what i can do is i can call this as probability and i can plot these two functions so i can say insert data select remove 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 and so x is this and uh, so this is how the plot uh, will look like so now how this how do you read this plot so for example if you are looking at uh, what's the probability that uh, the stock will go more than uh, will show increase so it will go more than zero percent you can say it's around uh, 0.45 so stroke has more probability to go up as compared to go down and at least based on the past one year right so now i have this uh, probability here um, so now i can say is i can say v look up v look up right and then i can select this array uh, or like both of them and uh, then i can say uh, uh, sorry i need to say let me select let me say here four percent right and then i say is equal to v look up and then i select both of the arrays and then oh, i select this first then i select both of the arrays and uh, then it says which one so i'll say one and then i'll say true so true means that i'm okay with the approximate because you're not gonna get exact four percent here so you're gonna get something closer to four percent so if i put five percent then i get four point six seven percent so if i put five point five then i'm gonna get nothing if i say minus uh five point five then no if i say minus five then i'm gonna get five point three right so this is how it will work so i can do the same thing i can copy the same thing and uh, i can write down write it down here and instead of one i'll say two so i want the data from the second column so now it will give me the probability so this is the probability for the stock to remain below five percent right so now so now if we want to calculate uh, we want to do the same thing again so i'll, I'll copy this and i'll paste it again here and uh, and everything seems to be fine yep and then here i can say uh, maybe two so now this is the probability that the stock will remain less than two percent and this is the probability that it will remain less than minus five percent so so if i want to calculate so probability for stock to remain between minus and I can say between so yeah here I can say uh, is equal to minus 5 and equal to 2 and I should not call it to gain so that should be equal to uh, this minus this so this is your probability so let me play around with this so suppose if i have one person so what's the probability that the stock is gonna write uh, so stock is gonna rise between uh, zero and uh, let me make it okay make it yellow again yes and let me do this do this so these are our input and this is your answer right so so now we can play around with this so suppose i'll say this is 
percentage is also percentage so what's the probability that our stock is gonna gain between one and two percent so that will be equal to i'll say uh, 0.14 uh, percent so what about the st uh, likelihood that stock is gonna uh, go between zero and uh, maybe 15 percent so that is 50 so 50 percent that chances that it's gonna go between zero and 15 percent what about zero and uh, one percent so that is 0.28 so that means 28 percent likely that the stock is gonna go between this uh, you can also say uh, minus one to one so that's 0.57 so if it gets zero then that's 0.28 so the likelihood for stock to go to to decrease by one percent is 0.28, and uh, for it to go and increase by one percent, uh, it's also 0 0.8. So so mathematically, for stock to go up and down is uh, almost same. So this is how this uh, work. I can uh, uh, leave this uh, sheet uh, for you to guys to download, and uh, if you have any questions. Um, you can always uh, feel free to ask me. So I hope uh, this uh, video helped and uh, I'll see you next time.